Hi everyone, it's Sandy and today I wanted to do a bookshelf tour. It has been nearly a year since my last bookshelf tour and I wanted to do one every single year. So here's my bookshelf tour for 2015. Before I get started, I wanted to insert a picture of my bookshelf about two years ago and another picture of my bookshelf about a year ago. So as you can see, I have gained quite a lot of books since those two pictures. I basically organize my bookshelf by height and I keep all series and trilogies together. The only shelf that I pretty much organize by genre is this shelf. This is my contemporary slash standalone shelf and everything else is just organized by trilogies and height, I don't know, it's hard to explain. This shelf and this shelf is basically my random shelf. I don't really know where to put them on my bookshelf so I just put them all here because they're all the way on the bottom. Let's get started with the full details of my bookshelf. This is the first shelf and I'm gonna start off by removing this canvas. So to the left I have all my Rochelle Maid book and to the right I have pretty much all of my Cassandra Clare books. Starting with the Vampire Academy series, Vampire Academy movie tie in edition, Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise, Spirit Bound, and Last Sacrifice. And now moving on to the Bloodline series, we have Bloodline, Golden Lily, The Indigo Spell, The Fiery Heart, Silver Shadows, and The Ruby Circle by Rochelle Mead. Next, we have the Mortal Instrument series by Cassandra Clare, starting with City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. Next, we have the Infernal Devices series, also by Cassandra Clare. Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. Now we're moving on to the shelf to the right, and this is basically my contemporary slash standalone shelf. Attachments by Rainbow Rowell, Easy and Breakable by Tamara Weber, Confess, Hopeless, Losing Hope, Maybe Someday, Ugly Love, Slammed, Point of Retreat, and This Girl, all by Colleen Hoover. My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick, all the Truth That's In Me by Julie Berry, If I Stay and Where She Went by Gail Foreman, 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, The Duff by Cody Kuplinger, How to Save a Life by Sarah Zarr, Dream Boy by Mary Crockett and Madeline Rosenberg, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, Burn for Burn and Fire with Fire by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian, Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson, Let's Get Lost by Adi Al Saeed, Broken Hearts, Fences, and Other Things to Men by Katie Finn. Catch a Falling Star by Kim Culbertson. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. And on the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door. And Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Panic by Lauren Oliver. Pushing the Limits, Dare You To, and Crash Into You by Katie McGarry, and Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. This shelf is basically my trilogy shelf, and I'm going to start off with The Young Elites by Marie Lu, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, The Evolution of Mara Dyer, and The Retribution of Mara Dyer, all by Michelle Hodkin. The Darkest Minds Never Fade in the Afterlight by Alexandra Bracken. The Hunger Games Catching Fire and Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. Legend, Prodigy, and Champion by Marie Lu. Divergent, Insurgent, Allegiant, and Four by Veronica Roth. On this shelf, I started off with a bunch of series slash trilogies, and to the right, I have a bunch of first books in a series or trilogy. Free to Fall by Lauren Miller. The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. Cinder, Scarlet, and Crest by Marissa Meyer. Delirium, Pandemonium, and Requiem by Lauren Oliver. Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo. The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings. The Iron Trials by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. The Archive by Victoria Schwab. Control by Lydia Kang. The Taking by Kimberly Durding. Sea of Shadows by Kelly Armstrong. Half Bad by Sally Green. And Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. Over here, I have most of my tall hardcover books. The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, and Air of Fire by Sarah J. Mass. The Fifth Wave and the Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey. The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. 
And to the right, I have the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan, consisting of The Lost Hero, The Son of Neptune, The Mark of Athena, The House of Hades, and The Blood of Olympus. On this shelf, I have mainly trilogies and duologies all the way to the right. Shatter Me, Unravel Me, and Ignite Me by Tahir Amafi. The Selection, The Elite, and The One by Kira Cass. Wither, Fever, and Sever by Lauren De Stefano. Ruby Red, Sapphire Blue, and Emerald Green by Kirsten Gear. Paranormalcy, Supernaturally and Endlessly by Kirsten White. Uninvited by Sophie Jordan. Reboot and Rebel by Amy Tintera. The Program and the Treatment by Suzanne Young. And Not a Drop to Drink by Mindy McGinnis. On this shelf, I also have a bunch of trilogies, and to the right, I have all of my Jennifer L. Armentrout books. The Kill Order, The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, and The Death Cure by James Dashner. Sweet Evil, Sweet Peril, and Sweet Reckoning by Wendy Higgins. Uglies, Pretties, and Specials by Scott Westerfeld. Unearthly, Hollowed, and Boundless by Cynthia Hand. The Winner's Curse by Marie Rakowski. Don't Look Back by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Now we have the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout, consisting of Obsidian, Onyx, Opal, Origin, and Opposition. And now we have the Covenant series by Jennifer L. Armentrout, consisting of Half-Blood, Peer, Deity, Apollyon, and Sentinel. On the top, I have all of my short storybooks, consisting of Unite Me by Taha Damafi, Delirium Stories by Lauren Oliver, and The Selection Stories by Kira Cass. Under the Never Sky, Through the Ever Night, and Into the Still Blue. Next, I have the first two books in the Blood of Eden trilogy consisting of The Immortal Rules and The Eternity Care by Julie Kagawa. Next, I have the entire Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling consisting of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Angel Fall and Worlds After by Susan E. Unwind and Unholy by Neil Schusterman. Beautiful Creatures, Beautiful Darkness, Beautiful Chaos, and Beautiful Redemption by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. This shelf is pretty much my random shelf. On the left, I have a bunch of arcs and school books. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I Was Here by Gail Foreman. The First Five Chapters of Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. Dove Arising by Karen Bow, Trial by Fire by Josephine Angelini, Layla by Nikki Kelly, Firebug by Lish McBride, The Vault of Dreamers by Kara M. O'Brien, A Child Called It by Dave Pelzer, Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison, Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes, Chasing Power by Sarah Beth Durst, Catch a Falling Star by Kim Culbertson, the Keeper of the Wind by Mark Shaw, Vic Mongol by Jerry Gill, Time Doesn't Matter by Jerry Gill and Edgar Rice Burroughs, The Extraction List by Renee M. Meelan, The Summer Solstice Enchanted by K.K. Allen, The Equinox by K.K. Allen, Rosehead by Ksenia Ansky, Glaze by Kim Curran, Saving Yesterday by Jessica Keller, Infinite Potential by Barbara Guerin, Extraction by Stephanie Diaz, Landline by Rainbow Rowell, and Saga by Brian K. Vohan and Fiona Staples. This shelf is my last shelf, and it's also a pretty random shelf. Most of these books are books that I really don't have a place for, or like I have no idea where to put them on the rest of my shelves, so I basically just put them here. For Real by Allison Cherry, Entwined by Heather Dixon, Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver, Smile by Raina Telgemeier, the Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls, Brain on Fire by Susanna Cahalan, On Dublin Street by Samantha Young, The Body Finder by Kimberly Durding, Reason to Breathe by Rebecca Donovan, Across the Universe by Beth Revis, The Book Thief by Marcus Zuzak, Something Strange and Deadly by Susan Dennard, The Summoning by Kelly Armstrong, These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, Alienated by Melissa Landers, a Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray, Made for You by Melissa Marr, Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott, Partials by Dan Wells, Avalon by Mindy Arnett, The Serpent's Shadow, and The Throne of Fire by Rick Riordan. So here is an overview of my entire bookshelf. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!